Hey, how y'all doing? Today's Sunday, March 24th. It's about 60 degrees and the bees are going crazy. These are the uh, hives that I took off the trailer. I thought they was done orienting, but they're still uh, act like they're trying to figure out. Some of them trying to go in the back of that orange hive behind me. Um, still trying to go in the back where their entrance used to be and it's turned around now. I thought they'd have it figured out. But they haven't been able to get out a whole lot so they're still orienting a little bit. But these hives uh, from here, I'm not sure you can see this first one, but from here on down, still have to be checked for splits. Everything down that way has already been checked and or split. I uh, haven't seen any queen cells yet. I'm seeing a lot of reports of people in Kentucky having uh, queen cells and uh, even some swarms. So it's, it's early being the 24th of March, uh, but that's what we're looking for. I got some queen excluders. The task is today, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hives I got to check. I'm going to shake uh, the bees down below a queen excluder so I can use the top half. I'm going to raise some queens and nukes, and I'm going to make up some more splits. Um, walk away splits and let them raise their own queen. So that's what we're doing today. I'm going to go ahead and get my veil on and uh, get in the hives and see what it looks like. All right, this first one here we did the other day. We took a split over to Smithville. This is the next one in line. I was waiting the other day for them to get uh, kind of sorted out where they're getting kind of knew where their hive was, but they're still figuring things out from the looks of it today. There's just bees going. It's warm, so they're uh, going crazy. I don't see a lot of pollen coming in at first look. Let's see how they're doing. Got a three deep box. I had one of these hives. I got them mixed up now since I moved them around. I one of these boxes had three deeps full last time, but I've had to move them around, get them off that trailer. See some clean cups right off the bat. Several queen cups there on the bottom of that box and a bunch of drone brood. If I can show you that. So I think we got plenty of drones to wait raise queens with and we got pretty warm weather coming up this week. So let's see about raising some queens. Let's see how long we can go without gloves. Just get a look and see what this bottom box looks like. Neither one of them particularly heavy. Queen cups again in these. With lots of drones. And the bottom looks to be about, uh, it's not completely full, it's probably 80%. This box here is probably a little more than the bottom. I'll take a look at a few of these frames. That one's empty for the most part. It's got some uh, pollen in it. There starts our brood. Bees look good, they're lighter color, most of them. I see drones walking around. The other day me and Kevin was out checking them and it, when you first popped open the box, it didn't look like the box had a lot of bees in it. And once you get down in here, there's quite a few bees. There's eggs and larvae on this one. All kind of drone. I could find a queen, I could go ahead and uh, just put a queen excluder over top of her. I don't see her yet. He's definitely looking like they need to be split. With all this uh, brood to be hatching out, probably needs to be uh, split a couple ways several ways because all that brood is going to make a lot of bees this being a warm week plenty of drones i heard bob benny talking this morning about purple eye stage but we got drones 
we've had drones for a while and they're walking around, a bunch of them's walking around so we got plenty of drones all right i'm gonna put this uh frame kind of checkerboard it in the middle since it ain't got much on it they'll pull it out pretty quick And they don't have to pull it out, just fill it up. They'll fill it up pretty quick. Out of the way. So I'm looking at these to see if there's enough in here to go ahead and uh, transfer down. Or if I need to put that next box. There's fresh nectar. I might need to put that next box that's down below or above an excluder instead of this one. Well, it's got brood up here too. A lot of brood in here for three boxes. All kind of drones. You can see down there toward my right hand. All right, I'm looking through here, looking for the queen. If I can find her, I can go ahead and put her down and save some time. And I'm looking to see how much brood there is to see if I just want to split off this top box or more than that. Bees are very calm. This might be a good hive to graft off of. They're walking around on the frames. Not stingy. It's mostly nectar in that box. I would like to get them down to a single box with drawn comb over them. That's where I would like to be. I'm thinking about how I want to do this. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight frames of brood down here. What did I say? Five in this box. So 13 all together. I couldn't get them all in one box, so I'm gonna have to have it in two. Be a lot of frames to pull from and make it split out of, which would be good. All right, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna shake them all down below. Hey, into one, the first single brood box and then have two boxes on top with brood in it and then let them move back up on that brood and then come back tomorrow night and uh, make my splits out of the nurse bees that's covering the brood I'll have 13 frames to choose from so I think that's where we're at all right so I'll put my queen excluder on that box even at bottom box, it's not all the way to the outside. I get you over here, we can see what I'm doing. All right, there you can see box we're shaking into, and then the boxes we're shaking out of. Yeah, way. See how long I can go with that gloves. Oh dang, the top's coming off. These top bars, you really gotta when you're making up frames. You really want to make these top bars glued on good because this is what you run into. You'll pull the top bars off. When you got one that's really glued in good. Okay, I'm gonna look for the queen briefly. 
baby bees on that one. Made these up for a while and just tried to look for the queen, but my success rate in finding her wasn't too good. I always feel like I can see her if she's on there, but you don't never know where she's at. She could be on the bottom of the frame or anywhere. She's very hard to find, especially if she's not marked. So this is a lot better way of doing it. It just takes a while. They're really calm bees, though. I really like the misdemeanor, I mean demeanor of the bees. Lots of uh, brood. You always want to get in here. If you left this hive, this hive is going to try to swarm. If you left it. If they try to swarm, you've lost your uh, honey production for the year. So it costs you a lot. Whether you um, go by that or not, you're, it's costing you a lot if you let them let them swarm. Some old torn out cells there. Trying to take a little more time to look for the queen. Since I've got so many frames to shake. Trying to get them all back in the same order too in the new box. And scrape some of these uh, drone brood off the bottom so they're not so fat down there. All right, this one's got eggs and larvae on it and a lot of bees. So it's a frame that I would expect to see a queen on, whether I do or not. I don't see her. Seem like a majority of these bees are in that middle box on this side. This one has very few bees, no eggs on that side. She could be on this side. She's usually the bee that's plowing through all the other bees, usually. Everything in beekeeping is most time, usually, probably. A lot of times when they're piled up like that, there'd be a queen under there. I'm not seeing her. Nice work bees this time of year too, because they're so busy worrying about other stuff and not worried about robbing. You don't have to worry about robbing today at all. That box is good. Yeah, I'm gonna shake this box in there and then we'll stack them back up. Let's look for my queen real quick. Oh, I see her. So my work here is done. She's got a yellow dot on her, so she's a little old, but she's still done good. Hopefully you can see her down there trying to get through. I'll go ahead and uh, let her into the bottom and then I'll know I can take off these top two boxes and be good. So that saved us from having to shake us another whole next box. That saved us a little time. Taking her time. All right, I got her. See if I can get her under here without killing her.
All right, there she went. She crawled off, crawled down in between the frames. So I know I could shake her down. Yeah, no, them boxes. Are good, the queen excluders down here, and there's not a queen up here. Got most of those in there, but not all of them. All right, so now I got two boxes I can use tomorrow to make uh, splits out of. I'll give them overnight. It's supposed to be a little warmer tomorrow too. So I'll give them overnight to come back, whatever I shook down on the bottom to come back up to the top. Even though most of my hunk is already up in here. Uh, but we're in good shape. That's good. Try not to step on the ones down here in the ground. Try to smoke them in into the box, shooting fire. Try to turn our lid on so we don't smash no bees. Get our stick back out. And then we'll make our notes. All right, uh, and then we got a yellow queen. I need to mark that on here. Will you, so it's 2022. This is 2024 and it's a 2022 queen. Yellow queen, so I can mark her for getting replaced. So these queen cells on my rays, I'm gonna come back and these queens, uh, highs that say yellow queen, even though she's doing so good. I might try to graft off of her to get some of her genetics because she's doing a really good job for her third year. Um, but I can use her, keep her genetics and then go ahead and replace the queen because she ain't gonna last forever. So um, that'll be really good and I get a few queen cells. And I'll try to show that. We'll do the queen cells in the in the nuke. I'm not uh, with 50 hives. I'm not big time enough to be. You know, sometimes we look at Bob Benny and these guys trying to raise these big boxes of queens, and then we try to do it, and we just don't have enough resources. So I'm gonna try to be uh, um, frugal with my resources, I guess is the word. And uh, I'll raise several queens, but I'm not gonna try to you know, take a full hive and raise queens out of it. I'm not gonna use all that resource. And I'm also gonna use mini nukes, which that'll save a lot of resources too. The rest of these hives, get you up here. The rest of these hives I got here, uh, show them to you. I'm gonna do pretty much the same thing too. I'm gonna get a queen excluder in there where I can take off the top. No, I won't be getting the queen. And then I can do a lot of stuff with it. I can use and make up a uh, starter finisher nuke box and uh, I can make some splits off of them keep them from swarming if you let a hive like that one we just looked in if you had to let that go and it got swarm cells in it then you just lost your production so I don't want to do that I want to uh, split ahead of time I don't want to wait till I see queen cells like I see a lot of people do and uh, go ahead and take care of this so I've got seven hives left to do here and I got some hives over at Smithville to do so I'll go ahead and stop the video there so I can go a little faster and uh, get these uh, ready to split. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.